Hey y'all, so remember uh, back in January, I told you all on my main channel, Metaphysical Life Mastery, that I had heard that um, there were some people who were leading the divestment movement. Um, there was one particular one who was head of the divestment movement and the swirl movement on YouTube and social media, who I guess would, I would say head, but you know, she didn't invent swirling, but I'll just say she was the most vocal proponent of it. Uh, remember, I told you all in January when I did that infamous live stream called The Devils or of Divestment. And I told you all that the rumors were that the individual um, uh, was divorced or, or going through a divorce or soon to be divorced. Remember, I told you that back in January. And so it's been confirmed within the last two months, uh, you know, not confirmed necessarily with paperwork, but it's been pretty solidified within the past week from two months ago. So we're talking the time frame of June 2021 up through now, August uh, 23rd, 2021, that uh, this individual is indeed divorced and is having a fucking breakdown and their channel has disappeared off of YouTube. I told you all that a lot of people were going to be exposed this year and I told y'all that they were going to get karma, okay, because her and her buddy who goes by uh, Dark Wisdom Mentor had a hand in not only doing black magic against me and my platform when I ran Cosmic Jewels, which was a BWE divestment channel, okay. They had a hand in not only stifling my channel, okay and attacking me but they also had a hand in doing witchcraft against my marriage when i went to finland to visit my then fiance okay these women were so jealous that suddenly one of them organized a trip uh this this main swirl proponent organized a trip to italy she took a group of women to italy they just had to compete right and then there was another one who suddenly took a trip to Ireland and Scotland who goes by the name of, um, I guess, a uh, swirl supporter. I'm not going to call these people's names, though, but I'll just say, you know, there was another one who went to Ireland and Scotland uh, back then. So this is summer of 2019. Then when I actually do get married and move over there, you know, all of a sudden shit goes crazy and it came to my attention uh, that witchcraft was done against my marriage to break it up because how dare I uh, end up actually getting a white man and marrying okay and a foreigner at that and then moving overseas to a four-bedroom house and living the life as a free black woman how dare I do that right when these other bitches have been preaching swirling for the greater part of 10 fucking years some of them and still ain't married to their so-called white savior or non-black savior and still ain't married at all ain't never been fucking married and never will be remember i told you all that shit was gonna blow back on them because that was public humiliation that i endured and then not only that i was gang stalked relentlessly by that individual that i married and so it it, uh, it, it was really really like interesting how things played out how you know he flipped all of a sudden and then I was being gang stalked by him I was doxxed by him and I believe these individuals were behind it okay uh the pink pill person I believe they had some kind of hand fully believe that they had some kind of hand in his behavior changing in him gang stalking me doxing me putting my U.S. passport which is illegal on the fucking internet uh creating fake pages and all of that he had help okay well this person has lost her marriage now and now she's talking about self-harm and losing it and all of this stuff now i would never you know glorify or, or think that's funny or nothing it's not about that it's about karma came back and bit her in the ass okay because she had a hand in fucking up my livelihood. They did more than just magic on my marriage. They were doing shit to hinder my platform before I ever met that man. Before I ever met my ex-husband, they were doing shit to hinder my platform then. Okay, so I don't mention the whores on my channel. And that's exactly what they are. They're old whores. 
they were allegedly running prostitution rings through their little divestment businesses and or spell work covens witchcraft covens through their little businesses and their little black women's empowerment businesses they were running and may still be running these kinds of organizations racketeering prostitution um nefarious witchcraft covens and they take advantage of black women by leeching black women's energy and using it to get rich when you all heard me connect with my sister that I found out now is my past life sister my sister and blood cousin Kenyatta Numhikov let's get into it when you all heard me connect with her publicly the way that I know that this dark wisdom uh thief and practitioner um who has been dragged by pretty much every pro pro black man on this fucking platform this individual the way i know that she still listens to my content and stalks is because she contacted kenyatta she sent kenyatta an email trying to get kenyatta to join her fucking group so i told you all that they use black women's energy they like spiritually powerful enlightened um strong-willed black women and then what they do is they get them in their group in their little secret groups groups they get you paying 150 dollars for their little programs four hundred dollars three hundred dollars or whatever that's the scam but also they're doing rituals on you they get your address your phone number okay they get your photos your driver's license and then they start doing magic against you and they start pulling the money from you and then they also start attacking your house your livelihood now not every black woman has had this experience because they will pick the ones that they feel are most vulnerable okay they'll pick the ones that are most vulnerable all right i also shared with you all so this kenyatta got this email from this woman uh just just a couple of weeks ago soon as i outed kenyatta is being related to me the bitch emailed her now while i appreciate what that woman taught i know what she did behind the scenes so if she ever tries me again i'll ensure that not only does she get arrested i'll ensure i take down everybody that's tied to her they don't call me a coven killer for no reason. Now, that's no disrespect to covens that do their thing the right way. I'm talking about people like this. So her little minion that she tied into to further her cause is now divorced from her white husband. And losing her fucking mind and her channel has disappeared off of the platform or she's hidden her channel. Well, good, because you have... Not only you stifled my channel, Cosmic Jewels, and my work, you also attacked other black women. Both of you did. You attacked other black women, Crystal Swirls and others. There were many others that I found out about behind the scenes that y'all were quashing the channels and the efforts of in the BWE, Black Women's Empowerment, Black Women's Centric Sector. So I'm glad to see the downfall of Miss Pink Peen. I'm glad to see it. I have no sympathy because I went through the hell that I went through publicly. So now it's your turn, baby. And I know your friend hides, but I know what your friend looks like. And I know her legal name. Meaning Miss Dark Wisdom, I know her legal name. And I know roundabout where to find her ass too. So if you all are wondering for the, you know, what live stream I'm referring to, you'll have to go to my main channel. It's called um chaos magic divas of De uh, the divas of devilment okay and um you'll see it in the playlist called live streams by metaphysical life mastery it's like a five hour live stream okay the bitch is divorced now so all of that pandering that pink penis pandering you know and this is no disrespect to women that want to swirl and all that i think people should just be with whoever they want to be with you know but there was a very toxic rhetoric going forward for a long time. First, we saw Michaela Pink get taken down, allegedly for the crimes. Uh, she was well, she ain't no allegedly on her getting taken down. She got taken down for her alleged crimes. She was a major YouTuber, major, major level up YouTuber. Now we see this other one being taken down. Now she hid her channel, I'm sure, because of what's going on in her personal life. But my point is finally the fucking tower has fallen finally i know what was done to me 
And remember, I told y'all these same bitches that broke up my marriage that had a hand in it. Their marriages was failing. Remember I told you that? Remember I told y'all bitches that broke up my marriage, other bitches that interfered with relationships, they engagements got broke up, their relationships got broken up, their households got broken up, and their marriages got broken up because of what they did to me and also others. But this primary one is suffering because of what she did to me. There was no way because I was competition. I was a very, very strong competition to both of them. And they were taking my work and using, using it in their programs. The people that have followed me or listened to me that long since I was doing Cosmic Jewels know that this pink pill person and her partner in crime, Brooklyn Blue, Kendall St. Charles, took my work. Now, that is how... Kendall St. Charles allegedly, also known as Brooklyn Blue, allegedly even got started. She started taking somebody else's work. Okay. I've told y'all about these black women and their fucking cults. So now we see that Miss Pink Pill has finally fallen. Good. And by the way, her husband filed for a divorce from her. Not the other way around. He didn't want her ass no fucking more. Allegedly. So you see what happens when you don't want a black woman to be happy, that's powerful, that deserves happiness. See, it backfires on you. So now she's being smeared and, and dragged all over social media. Good. Good. <laughs> that's what you get. Because nobody came to my aid when I was being gang stalked by my ex because all of that shit that he did was under the guise of fucking spell work that was done to him. And some people might say, well, a person has free will. No, there's some people that are not aware of magic like that. They can be controlled and manipulated with spell work like that. So they did spell work and there was, you know, other things going on. Um, it was a form of hazing, humiliation ritual that they did to me. But look at me now. <coughs> look at me now. And I ain't even where God has for me to be, but I'm just saying as far as my final destination or none, I'm just saying, look at me now. These are the bitches getting the tea. Their empires have collapsed. Whereas mine is growing. Interesting how that works, right? When I thought that it was my... Um, spiritual destiny to be you know just a regular little housewife mom and all that good stuff you know i thought that was my spiritual mission and then have my little business as as a housewife and stuff like that you know my little side hustles and my little hobbies i thought that was my spiritual mission but the most high taught me no that was a soul contract you needed to fulfill this is why i allowed it to happen this way you're very strong you went through this now you can help others Okay. And also, now you see that I created you for so much more. Now, there's nothing wrong with being married and being a housewife or, you know, being being a mom and all that. There's nothing wrong with that. My point is, I had to realize that as I've shared with you all before, that was somewhat of a generational curse that was influenced upon me through uh my surrogate, who I've explained, you know, sometimes People can be so in fear of a woman's power that they'd rather her be married because that man is like a slave master in some cases. Some husbands are like that. Some husbands are very fair and free. And my ex-husband, uh, while he has, he was, a, he's, you know, he was a strong, you know, very virile northern white male my ex-husband um at the same time he came from egalitarian roots fin finland is very fair to women even though unfortunately there is an underbelly of them having a high rate of domestic violence which i did not know until after the fact till after i ended up going to a women's safe home then i found out there was 43 percent 
a higher DV rate in Finland than in the rest of Europe. And I was like, where the fuck did this stat come from? Because I did 18 months. What? No, I did like 12 months of research on the country and never came across that stat. So they bury that shit. They hide it very well. But sometimes women are impressed to get married and, and do that traditional family role so that they don't step into a certain level of spiritual power. This was one of the ways that the patriarchs across the world conquered many different societies when they would come to a tribe or a nation state, what we would call modern day terms of nation states or cities or civilizations. And there were powerful women either in medicine, science, healing, shamanism, etc., spiritual, spirituality, even some of the women, you know, might what we might call a cult leader. The men sought to break those women. Remember Game of Thrones. For those of you that have seen Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Cal Drogo and Daenerys Stormborn. Cal Drogo played by Jason Momoa. And Daenerys Stormborn were married. And they went to a particular village or settlement. And they conquered the women there by raping them and destroying their um, religious artifacts, destroying their worship centers and stuff. And then they put all the women into the main worship hut. And then they put Daenerys there and said, well, Daenerys is your new leader. Well, that's an example of what has gone on throughout civilization where they put the strong women leaders uh, into a singular place and they say, okay, well, they may not put a woman over them as a leader. They'll put a man or they will force these women to be married off or they allow men to take multiple women as a way of subjugation. So when I'm talking about a generational curse, I'm not saying that is something wrong with being married. I'm saying that marriage has been um, a long-term subjugation of powerful women, a long-term means of sub subjugating powerful women. Okay. And so um, this is one of the reasons why this pink pill person was pushing no wedding, no womb. Okay. And um, when you get married and you don't have the baby until after you get married and then you do have the baby. So no wedding, no womb. So let's say you have the baby or if you decide to have any children after you get married and it turns out to be that the person is an asshole, then what's the point of even you know what I'm saying? What's the point of even getting married? Because you're still going to have, if you decide to have a baby, you're still going to have a baby and have to leave a fucking abuser. Or either you're going to have to stay there and put up with it. So see, you know, she's been a fucking problematic propagandist for a long time. Now, I'm not knocking her and her, uh, her teammates for the beneficial teachings that have helped black women. But I am knocking them for the underbelly of the things that they've done. Specifically with the spell work attack. And the negative propaganda and the mess that they kept, that they kicked up and the dust and, and the drama that they kept up across social media. OK, I'm also knocking them for the ways that they abuse black women. And they know allegedly on that they have abused a lot of black women. OK, they have sent their flying monkeys out to target different black women's channels like they did mine. OK, I had to close the comments. They would send out either black men, white men. Or even other black men, uh, black women, excuse me, to target a channel if you seem to be a little bit too popular. They would do spell work against the channel or they would um, call or contact the people uh, with some power and some clout to uh, keep the growth of the channel limited or make it appear as if the growth of the channel um, is very limited. And like it's not getting the views and the clicks when, you know, it really is. So now her tower is falling good it will never be rebuilt okay and the most high is glad to have sat that bullshit down okay that was going on over there uh it's a it's a strong example for the other fuckers that want to go in her footsteps now this is no disrespect to the other black women that want to run swirler or divestment channels but just understand if you get up there operating like miss pink pill you're gonna fall too but you're gonna fall worse because you ought to be learning by example other than being a dumbass and running headlong into destruction. You've seen what happened to her. Miss Kendall St. Charles's empire is down too. 
the only people that they have coming to them now are the hapless and brain dead black women that are stuck with mommy issues that are unhealed that are looking for some leadership some dysfunctional leadership and mentally ill black women to snatch them up out of their misery and to give them a good old distraction okay but ain't none of that shit they talk original a lot of the ideas kendall st charles used for her programs came from me especially those nature studies that she started doing she heard me say that and she started copying me decoding game of thrones and and other things like that she started copying me that's been a factor of my channel metaphysical life mastery and cosmic my older channel cosmic Jews for a long period of time so a lot of these women take you know ideas and all that it's not so much the taking or the inspiration that i'm bothered by it's when you gonna disrespect me or attack my shit and think you're going to steal from me. See, you always going to get what's coming to you. And that's why her life is fucked up now. So now she's looking for a nigga now. Miss Pink Pill, she's looking for a nigga. Where all the good black men's is at. Is what she allegedly said recently on Kevin Samuels' channel. Yeah, she's a Kevin Samuels supporter. So see, this is an abuser. And I don't give a damn which one of y'all black women or people is offended. Get the fuck up off of my channel if you're offended. You ain't got to agree with everything I say, but you need to get up off of my channel because I'm not going to cape for no narcs. Narcs, sociopaths, and psychopaths. And Miss Pink Peel and, 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 and Brooklyn Blue are highly narcissistic. Now, of course, I can't diagnose, but they're highly narcissistic and sociopathic. I've seen them engage in some very nasty behaviors on this platform and on Facebook. And a lot of it I didn't say nothing about. I've seen how they use flying monkeys and minions to go after people. And I didn't say nothing about a lot of that shit. The reason why is because I didn't want to involve myself in no drama with them. But then it came time for me to speak, which is what I did in January. And since then, I haven't said anything about those kinds of people other than uh, you know, maybe one little thing here and there where I talked about the black woman that was on Astro that I said was like these other abusive whores in the in the BWE community. The 99 percent, um, actually 98 percent of the black women in the Swirler community are fucking single. They ain't going to never get no non-black man. That's what they looking for. They ain't going to never get one because they're toxic and they're nasty. And most of them ain't going to never get no man, period. They're toxic, abusive, and they're nasty, and don't no man want to deal with them, period. Now, I am in no way saying that having a man is a marker of success as a woman. What I am saying is, that's what they over there for. They in the swirling community and in the divestment community, the majority of them, because they want a fucking man. Thump my chest, hear me roar, but, oh, come dick me down tonight. Pay my bills, take care of me. Protect me. Protect my sister. Take care of my community. Take care of our children. Do better by our children. Stop being predators. But oh, flip me over and blow my back out. Bruise my service because I, I like it, baby. I like it raw. I have you out of wedlock babies for you as many as you want. And even if it ain't that, oh yeah, I get on birth control and I let you fuck me five times a week. But yet, I don't know how I'm going to pay my light bill. But you coming up in here in the bed. You know, this is black women. Now, I don't operate like that. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you the channel energy of these bitches. Now, as far as divestment as a doctrine and in theory, it's, you know, every movement or every, um, how can I say, school of thought has its pros and cons. But see, a lot of these women will talk about divestment, but they're not divested. I told y'all that a long time ago. I told you the majority of these bitches are just mammies that are hollering, you know, and having a fucking conniption because they ain't got no goddamn man. And the men that they do attract are very fucking toxic and nasty and abusive. So they just want to get on these divestment forums and pages and channels, BWE pages, etc., and swirler pages and fucking commiserate a lot of these bitches are also married to very 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 nasty raggedy ass husbands i see a lot of that 
not as much of that most of the people most of them are single but the ones that i do know are are you know i get an energy of them being married or they are obviously married a lot of them are fucking miserable but they stay married because they want to either maintain a certain level of comfort or they just too lazy to make a way on their own or they don't believe in divorce or whatever or they got children whatever people stay in marriages for a lot of different reasons it, it don't necessarily have to be because they happy and they love one another and things are good there's a lot of miserable ass married motherfuckers out here trust me that's why the dark web makes so much money illegally and that's why the porn sites make so much money illegally because people are married and miserable okay so judgment has befallen someone who um made her fucking youtube career out of targeting other black women's platforms both publicly publicly and privately out of running scams allegedly out of ripping people off allegedly out of doing uh involving herself in coven work coven spell work allegedly out of stealing uh intellectual property allegedly and she has dragged other people into it because she is a weakling and she needs flying monkeys to operate y'all see i roll solo i don't have no fucking flying monkeys and they ain't never had none if i have to address somebody i don't give a fuck who it is y'all hear me talking to the goddamn u.s government by my motherfucking self ain't nobody having to pat me on the back or hype me up i ain't got no hype men and no hype women i've been doing this by myself for years now okay this is my third channel that i'm running that's got some goddamn traction that that's name is making waves y'all see how a recent coven tried to take me uh you know thought they was gonna take me down thought they was gonna stop me or whatever a recent coven just tried that and now you see what happened to them so first of all i'm not a narc but i don't have other people do my dirty work if i got something to say i'm gonna say it i didn't build what i have or you know however it appears to other people i didn't build that off of nobody else's back i didn't build it by taking nothing from nobody else see and that's why the most high continues to bless people that do the work now i'm not going to give you the full history of what i know these individuals have allegedly done but i did want to make a quick little commentary in that's what you get bitch that's what both of y'all bitches get because now you have to explain to the whole black manosphere you don't have to but i'm just saying now the whole black manosphere and all the black community after you talk to all that shit is like bitch yo 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 your wigger left you your wigger your brad left you now that's it happens it does you know it happens i'm divorced too but guess what i was the one that left him and it was going along pretty fucking good before people interfere with their black magic well spell work i'll just say spell work because people can do different systems of spell work it doesn't have to be black magic okay um but i will say that um you will see others fall before the end of the year especially going into october november you're going to see some other so-called pillars in different sectors fall because pluto and saturn are going to go direct so see miss pink pill couldn't keep her ass off the fucking youtube streets and tend to her fucking marriage so that's why her marriage is no fucking more she couldn't keep her ass about a black women's business it wasn't about helping no black women it was about scamming and raping the pockets of black women allegedly it was about covering up her severe insecurity issues as a narcissistic cancer and her teammate in crime the narcissistic pisces and they were very pressed by me the scorpion very pressed like a lot of these women are in the spiritual sector in a tarot community but you will not get rid of the scorpion though at least not me they're having tower moments and death moments i'm not i went through mine during the time i went through mine and then i rose from the fucking ashes right so while they were sitting back 
watching me go through my troubles and while they were raking in four hundred dollars a course and all this and I think one person donated ten dollars on my GoFundMe when I opened it for a couple of days when I was leaving my ex in, in the women's safe home I think one person donated ten dollars another person donated some money to me privately another person two other women I think it was one man, uh, one black man, and then two women who donated to me privately. Nobody else helped me through that situation, not even in my own so-called family. So see, I'm doing well now. Have been doing pretty fucking good uh, since I moved last year from where I used to live. And um, it's only up from here because I spent enough time, you know, in the trenches and going through different things. And even when my attempts at a better life in the past did not succeed because people were so jealous of me moving overseas they sabotaged it they did things to stop it they did things to block it they did they did literal attacks to tear it apart so that is why their attacks immediately backfire on them now because I've done it. I've done the work. The universe owes me a hell of a lot of fucking money. The universe, the spirit realm, the most high angels, all they owe me a lot of fucking money. A lot of goddamn money. And I know that sounds arrogant, but I'm I'm not playing. I told them multiple times. I said, y'all owe me a lot of fucking money. Y'all owe me a lot of goddamn abundance and blessings and money. Because for years, I have been putting in the fucking work and doing what y'all wanted me to do. And y'all have not adequately paid me for years that shit was held up and other people were help, helping to hold that up like so called relatives exterior forces etc so now it's coming in it's rolling 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 and I'm just grateful because I told them I'm like I ain't gonna do what you want me to do unless you make it worth it I told y'all that I said that before I meant that shit you know, when I talk to the higher powers, I'm respectful, but at the same time, they know the responsibility and the mantle that they put on me. I'm not doing it unless you make it worth it. I'm not going to be no fucking starving artist. I done, I, done, I done put in my work. I done been sleeping on a friend's couch before. You know what I'm saying? I done, I, done, I done done what I'm supposed to fucking do and then suffer as a result of doing it. Either the suffering, in the, either the suffering is going to stop and the retaliation is going to stop. And you're going to block this shit and you're going to pay me appropriately or I'm going to stop your little fucking mission. And I won't do a goddamn thing. And they know that. Not only were the higher powers told that, the powers that be told, were told that too. So, the things that were taken from me are being snatched from the people that took it. That's another reason why people's marriages and families and housing situations and stuff are collapsing. Because it's being taken from the ones who took from me. People were stealing my content and charging $250, $300 a head to hear my shit come out of their fucking mouth. They were charging people that kind of money per person to hear my fucking content come out of their goddamn mouth and I'm getting all of that shit back and then some plus interest bitch you bitches are done you ain't coming back every one of you that's responsible for this shit you ain't coming back just like these tarot channels that were you know doing what they did lying stealing my lectures and all of that they ain't coming back you ain't never rising again death card on that ass tower on that ass I told you I'm a death god finito it's a done fucking deal and i'm glad to see it because i warned them but they have to learn so let this be a warning to all you other motherfuckers that think you're gonna try it you saw what happened to her she was one of the main parties that was that did not like me because i was competition to her pink pill She was one of the main ones. And now look at her shit. I just told you about it in January. And here it is August. Where's her channel? Where the fuck is her channel? 
go search for it. Where's her channel? Hundred thousand subscribers. The bitch is hidden now. And I know they still listen. I just want you to know I know about everything y'all did. And if you ever think you're going to come for me or try me or play me or if I ever get any kind of iota or inkling or sniffling bitch, any little aroma or scent of you motherfuckers pulling my intellectual property again or sending any spell work this way or, or any little flying monkeys or any harassers or gang stalkers my way, bitch, I will take your shit your ass will end up in fucking prison fucking with me i will make sure to get your ass locked the fuck up and or killed and i know you probably wonder well how can you do that you either be locked up in a prison in a mental hospital or you be up out of here or you'll be sick from something that you'll never get rid of and you'll never get well from those are your four choices if i ever catch you trying me again Cause see, I'm fully in my power. I, you know, I, I always like to give myself a little benefit of the doubt cause we all growing and we all healing, but I am fully in my power and I am healed. Any further healing that needs to occur is only because of new things that may arise. But the most high in them have already assured me as have exterior forces that I've already done the clearing. Just like my sister said, you done, you done broke the chains off your baby. Your mind is clear and sharp. That's how you can go rescue your Persian son from another dimension because he want to be free like you. So I've done the healing. I'm fully in my power. But see, I'm saying fully in my power because I'm giving myself the benefit of the doubt. I still got more power to gain and regain. So don't email my sister no more, Kendall. Don't send her no more fucking emails. And don't send no more of my soul sisters or soul brothers. And I know you don't fuck with the men, but I'm just saying, don't send no more of my soul sisters. No fucking emails from your little raggedy ass scam business. Find you something to do or go get a fucking job to get you up out of that brownstone in fucking Brooklyn. Okay? Get you something... You've had your time to scam people and to, to, to take from people. If you're still where you at, that's your fucking problem. That's your curse, baby. Just like you cursed to not have a relationship and cursed to not be married despite preying on women who do have those opportunities before them. And what you do is you prey on them and you take their money. You take their wealth. You take their manifesting ability and their energies. And you use it to pad your pockets. Well, you're going to lose it all, bitch. You're going to lose it all. And then the black manosphere will have you on a wanted poster and make a mockery of you just like they're doing with your partner in crime. When that day comes and you are the next one that they skin up. I'll be back with more commentary about you. And about why you got what you fucking got. To these other spiritualists, occultists, etc. out here. They're getting their ass handed to them too. One of them made a disrespectful comment not long ago. Now she in beef with Tariq Nasheed allegedly and Tasha Kay allegedly and, and Wayward Renegade Witches. Now she up in beef with them. Or alleged beef or disagreement. Well, see, when I was nice and caring and all that and supportive, the person got beside themselves, started smelling their ass. And now, what happened to your 42,000 views, baby? <laughs> what happened to your 42,000 views on a video? See, I didn't do nothing to you, but I will say this. I did tell my soul sister that you was jealous of her. I told her the truth about that and then she saw you what well, she saw what she saw about you in the fucking spirit. You underwent some kind you underwent a satanic ritual and got fucked in and you thought that was gonna give you the fame that you always wanted. You ain't gonna get it because of how you treated others. You ain't gonna get it because your fucking heart ain't pure. My yacht, Anubis and them ain't letting you into the halls of a minty because your heart ain't pure and you done got your shit 
by fucking over black women. You got a problem with women. You can't expect to be rich when you got a problem with the divine feminine and the dark primordial goddess. You ain't going to get it. You ain't going to never fucking get it. And I'm not telling you to stop trying. I'm just saying you ain't going to never fucking get it. Because that's at the center of your heart's desire. Your heart ain't for no people. Your heart is for money, bitch. And I know you know I'm telling you real and telling you raw because I ain't steered you wrong thus far. The gods and the goddesses are watching you. We know that you get your information from the demons. We know that you don't have these oracle gifts inherent. We know this. We know this. We know this. We know this. And why the demons give you a little piece of here, a little piece of that, we know. Hermes as Gadom is not fucking with you. We know this. We know this. We know he ain't been fucking with you for a long time because he saw you go. He saw you undergo that satanic ritual. He don't fuck with that shit, yo. And some people might say, well, he's industry. Yes, he do. No, the fuck he don't. Just because a person is industry don't mean they worship Satan. Come on now. I told y'all that there's people of the most high and people of the higher divine benevolent beings or of the divine benevolent be uh, realms in every sector of society just because a person's in the music industry don't mean they're a devil worshiper just because a person's into you know working for the government don't mean they're a bad person come on now so now i understand why certain people had to speak out or chose to speak out and let you know what the fuck was going on they told you that you're not being real with yourself you can't you're not going to be blessed lying to people. I just got done telling you about Miss Pink Pill and her lies, alleged lies. You're not going to be blessed lying to people. you always going to get caught up. And this is a big reckoning for a lot of black people in social media this year. All right. Now, everything, excuse me. Is not a, you know, if, if a person goes through something, it doesn't necessarily mean they did something bad to deserve it. Sometimes it's for their uh, betterment, their ultimate betterment. But in this situation, you know, you did a whole lot of dirt. You was fucking and sucking because you wanted to be famous. You got to pay that energy back, baby. You was fucking and sucking because you wanted money. You got to pay that energy back, though. You were scamming people, allegedly. And, um, mm disrespecting divine fems and you know one of the one, one of the people that you disrespected allegedly was um my spiritual mother and she told me about it and that shit still bothers my spirit and that shit happened like a couple years ago you disrespected her and you didn't know who the fuck she was to me hmm so you got to pay for that you got to pay for that you got to pay for a lot of divine fems that you've disrespected and or um uh, mishandled I am one of the ones you mishandled and you didn't know that I was Hades or maybe you did know. You didn't know I was Uther Pendragon or maybe you did know. You didn't know I was Venus. You didn't know I was Archangel Michael. You didn't know that. You didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know. But you did fucking know that I'm an empress. And despite me showing you love, it was always a recoil. Uh, don't get too close to me type of energy and I wasn't trying to be your friend but it did support you because I believed in you just like I supported these others because I believed in them but people I notice will take my support for granted so now I'm very careful with who I support I'm very careful with who I show love to or appreciation to I'm very careful with that because the vast majority of the times when I show people love and appreciation, they usually stab me in the back. So now I remain neutral and usually cold on the colder side. Unless it's somebody that I know or have a, you know, um, a check in my spirit is not like that. Unless it's, you know, a soul brother, or soul sister that has already been vetted. Then, you know, I feel comfortable if I'm given a green light to pour into them as much as necessary. I didn't come here to keep for myself or get, 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 get for myself. 
I came here to help other people. That is why I do promote other people here and there, and I share other people's content and all that. I don't care nothing about who got more subscribers and who got more. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, yo. I don't give a fuck about none of it. Because I can tell the motherfuckers that's bought they subs. I can tell when a motherfucker got 40,000 fucking subs, allegedly, but they got 2,000 views on a video. Your sub count don't match your view count. That means you bought your fucking subs. I can tell when I look at a video when the fucking comments have been purchased. People ain't writing all them comments. Them shit's been bought. I can tell when I look at this shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, yo. I done seen how they shadow ban. I done seen how they have put the views low on the channel because a person spilling, uh, speaking real and raw. I haven't seen how they done shadow ban all kinds of people for telling the goddamn truth and for being highly, highly in tune and connected. Tell me a fuck about your subs and your views. See, that's a problem with insecurity. Because you care about it more than, I mean, more than it really should be cared about. What the fuck does that have to do with anything? Oh, so your view count and your sub count tells you how valuable you are as a person? What the fuck? That tell you you telling the truth. Oh, because it's got low likes or low views, you now feel like, oh, I didn't tell, I, I guess my truth wasn't good enough or I guess my truth wasn't accurate or I guess my opinion don't matter. No, it matters fuck that is you a god or is you a goddess or what you worry about a goddamn like and a view or a couple of views you worry about that shit but see black people especially like to talk about oh we gods we this we built this we did that no 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 y'all not living that shit though but we got to constantly deal with this human the id the ego and the super ego Everybody want to, you know, be acknowledged for what they do right. Everybody wants to feel good. That's the number one part of self-preservation and or human uh, law, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Yes, it's about self-preservation, food, water, etc., shelter, procreation, but people want to feel appreciated. I understand that. But some of y'all going to have to get over this shit here. Some of y'all going to have to get over this shit. And just stand up and be like, you know, I don't give a fuck if five people watch. This is my truth. This is what I was told to teach. This is what I was told to say. I'm going to say it. I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. It'll, it'll eventually come back to me. If it don't come back in a whole bunch of subs or a whole bunch of views, it's going to come back. And we have to learn to trust in that. But it's a constant battle. So I understand that need for validation. But that comes from a place of... When it's um, an, an insatiable need for validation that comes from a place of inner child wounding. And I see so many of these cistern, especially brothers too, but I'm not just talking about brown or black or indigenous people. I'm talking about soul tribe, you know, higher vibrational people, aware people, woke people. If And I don't even like that term woke, but aware people. I see so many of them. It's like, yo, do you understand how revolutionary you are, how different you are, how fucking unique you are? And here you are worried about what a motherfucker told you in your goddamn comments. Like, what? You know, and my mind goes to that, but I'm sensitive to it, too. I'm sensitive to the energies, too. That's why I keep my comments closed. But that's also a form of me keeping my, my boundaries high. Because I'm not going to allow just any old energy to float through my fucking comments thread and say whatever the fuck it want to say to me. Nah, nah. I am death personified. And before I knew that, I, I was telling y'all, nah, I didn't talk to death, baby. Death showed up. The, the grim reaper himself showed up in my motherfucking bedroom and asked me if I knew what to do. Because I was dealing with a toxic individual who I had not put my boundaries high enough with that was going to end up killing me. And I don't mean by no, you know, oh, some domestic battery thing. I mean, they were going, the energy drain was going to kill me. And the Grim Reaper, Grim Reaper showed up and was like, if you don't let this person go, you're going to physically die. I, I, I'm here to warn you ahead of time. And I, and I know you know that this, this is getting to be a lot on you. Right? 
So I learned over time, I did my reparenting, my inner child healing and all that. And I learned over time to be very, very selective with my communications and with my boundaries. And especially when I started this secondary channel to Starfire Alchemist, I had to get real strong with that. But it really started before I started that second channel because I knew how I began to really be very, I've always been very in tune with my body and paid attention to how my body feels and the sensations I get and the illnesses and stuff like when I would go around certain relatives, I would get a headache. My stomach would hurt. It was, it was my, it was the negative energy. It wasn't me having a bad diet. It wasn't me um, not taking care of myself. It was literally the negative energy coming from these people and their spirits and their, the environment not being energetically of a high vibration and energetically clean. And so when I would go around them, I would get stomach aches and I would get really tired and I would get fatigued and fatigued. And sometimes uh, my children would get sick If my children, my children would end up with like stomach bugs and stuff that they never got when we were at home. They never got those things. And so I took, I, you know, dove deep and then the guides and the ancestors and then they taught me that this is a spiritual warfare your body is being assaulted your auric field is being assaulted by negative spirits that these people harbor and that are at home in this space so when you come to this space you get sick now if you know anything about spiritual warfare you know that when you or you may have heard even if you have a christian foundation or a patriarchal religion foundation you may have heard that when you encounter certain demons or, or negative disincarnates or negative spirits that you can physically become ill that it can feel like your chest is hurting or like there's um, a weight sitting on your chest or it'll make your stomach hurt or you got a headache you know uh, other things can happen body aches and so I began to pay very close attention to my boundaries and my communications and I know that it's hard for some, a lot of people to understand, but one of the reasons why my comments are never open is because that's a form of bound energetic boundary for me, because I'm not going to let just any old fucking demon, gin, you know, negative ancestor, toxic energy vampire come up in my motherfucking comments and talk to me any kind of way. Nah, 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 nah. If you want to talk to me, you can email me and we can talk. If you approach me in the right energy, but if you don't, then what I do is I delete it and I block it. And usually I expose it first and then I delete it. Then I block it. Okay. Or I expose it, save a copy of it, then block the email. All right. I don't let any old kind of energy sweep through my goddamn camp. I don't let it happen in my personal life, my day to day life. And I don't allow it on my platforms that is also tying into my responsibility over other souls because when other people who are empathic read certain comments they pick up the energy too people can attack you by their comments they can attack your energetic field by the words they write it's called spell work so some of y'all Yeah, you know, you got the power, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you let motherfuckers say all kind of shit in your comments. And I know you can't control what they say, but it's like, why the fuck are you suffering needlessly? And I'm not telling you you have to close your comments. I'm just saying, why the fuck are you suffering needlessly? Like, this is just stuff I wonder about. Is your spiritual um warrior or warrioress ability on a level that um you are unfuck withable now everybody's able to be fucked with a little bit energetically your extent depends on where you may be energetically the planets the moon and all that hormones and all that and also it depends on your environment and the amount of cleansing and or ascension work you do etc but I don't let toxic people stay around me, okay, and or interact with me. And um, 
one of the ways that I keep my energy very close to myself is limiting communication. Now, this is not the, it's not a form I'm not limiting communication with the comments or whatever because I know some people may wonder about that. Just I'm not doing it just because I'm I had my comments open on my main channel for a long period of time and it was very distracting, especially because of the gang stalking. And so, but I, I do it because I was told to do it. I was told comments aren't necessary to be open on my videos and on my channel. So they're not going to be open. And the most I really told me they're never going to be open. They're never going to be open. Okay. Um, and the reason why is because of people attacking my field or trying to attack my field and people using words because they know how sensitive I am to energies they can tell a super empath when they hear one there's people that I didn't even know was listening that have said I child I need to come to you because I tried doing a reading and I can't go but so far but I had to really find a real empath so I'm coming to you for a reading so you know I'm a real empath so that mean if you know other people know too they know us. Energy vampires, those kind of beings, know us. Okay? So, I wanted y'all to know, I wouldn't be doing videos and sharing and teaching. Uh, I don't like that word. Sharing and elaborating on as much as I elaborate on. With you all in the world, if I didn't want to communicate with you, it's because of... The gang stalking I've endured and the energetic attacks that certain individuals will send against me when my comments are open. That's why there are tarot readers that never have their comments open too. I am a tarot reader, but I'm a lot more than that. But there are other readers on the platform that don't ever open their comments. Also, it's a logistics and a timing thing for me because I have damn near 1,500 videos. I would say about 14, about almost... 13 or 1400 videos between two channels having the comments open I don't have anybody else that manages my social media except for me and so I can't keep up with all that I, I can't I cannot spend that kind of time with everything that I have to do I don't I cannot spend that kind of time moderating the comments because one thing I don't allow I do not allow my subscribers and my supporters and even if a person's not subscribed if they're coming in the comments and they're being positive or they're acting, asking a good question or they you know making you know it's good discussion i'm not going to let nobody come in and attack them on my fucking page you can come in and attack but i want to be able to deal with it and see that's that's just the responsibility that i feel over people and especially when they're interacting on my pages so because i don't have the physical ability and time to moderate all those comments across hundreds of videos i don't have them open it just it, it became too much and it takes up too much time to go in and and and, and approve and and restrict and and delete and reply and it's just too much it's too much it takes too much time away from the core stuff that I have to do which is assisting other people either in private sessions or even on the astral plane or studies or whatever else I have to do so that's why it's like that but of course anytime y'all want to correspond hit me up in the email but this is for the people that are going to be respectful this is not for trolls all right trolls I don't appreciate y'all, man. I know, I know y'all got y'all own shit y'all do, but I don't, I, I don't like getting wrapped up in that shit. Scorpions don't like to be stepped on, man. I just don't like being bothered with all that negative shit. Now I can handle it, but at the same time, I'd rather be, you know, keep everything cool. Like I just rather keep shit cool because I know how I can be when I'm not cool. So that's why it's like that. But going back to what I said about. The stuff that's going on with some of these spiritualists, occultists, and people in social media. It's about fucking time that some of them get what they've been given. Okay? It's about fucking time. And I'm going to say that... Um, I'm glad that 
the people that deserve to have a platform um, over a large amount of people to speak and it's a genuine number of people like it's not some bought subs it's not some fucking fake ass number those that have that kind of platform and are using it for decent stuff i'm glad that they have it those that don't uh i'll, I'll be glad when you fucking fall i'll be waiting on it in fact i'll be counting down the time because um in the coming days months years um people that use their platforms irresponsibly will be taken down this ain't about no fucking uh youtube moderation facebook or instagram moderation or 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 none of that or none of that censorship or shadow banning or blacklisting this is the divine taking your motherfucking asses down the meek shall inherit the earth that means those that have the heart to teach and reach others with the proper ego balance ego with balance negative negative and poly uh positive polarity balance and the right frequency will be the ones that maintain their stead and that rise the rest of them you'll see them stagnant you'll see you'll see them left behind okay um people uh what, what we saw happen with the churches in the pandemic um people are no longer wanting just a feel good message they want real and raw they want right and I, and we're not talking about whether oh I'm right and I'm wrong on what I feel about something or my opinion about something I'm saying they want what's right as in they've come they've come a long enough way with enough goddamn propaganda and religion shoved down their throats that they are looking to occultists and people that know that real spiritual information and that people can, and people that can download it people that can receive it and transmit it properly they're looking for us okay and that is why you may notice if you pay attention the shift in many pastors preachers reverends ministers and evangelists shifting over to more of a nuanced mixture of religion and spirituality and not just hardcore bible thumping ten commandments religion all right you see them making kind of a, a pivot towards more of a um moderate stance with a blend of spirituality and religion because they know in the coming years that people ain't trying to hear all that religious stuff all right it's a change in the tide and so same is true for people who have been operating out of the animalistic brain or the ego in the negative aspects of the ego the lower self the self preservation of i just you know sex money you know what i'm saying um food sex money survival sex money survival sex money survival sex money control survival sex money control survival root chakra lower self energy people that are mainly operating in that you are going to see them be quashed and suppressed because the energies that are coming into the planet are not going to support that. We have Pluto and Aquarius coming in 2023, but there are astrologers that are already saying Pluto and Aquarius energies are starting to hit in 2022. That's what I was trying to explain to that fucking idiot that kept emailing me about Pluto and Aquarius and what the spirit said in the reading that I did. So like she can't have Pluto and Aquarius cuz it's not here yet. The energy's about to hit we almost at 2022 we only four months away from 2022 really three months almost three three and a half months away from 2022 and there are qualified professional astrologers that have been putting out vi videos that say pluto and aquarius world change 2022 to 2025 i think they said or was it 2022 to 2024? I think it's 2022 to 2025. So if the official transit does not happen until 2023, then why the fuck are they saying 2022? That's because it's going to hit. The energies are going to come before the planet actually stations direct. Don't you hear a goddamn train before it actually cross your pathway? You hear it blowing before it actually get there? Don't you hear planes before you actually see them? Okay, then that that planet being far bigger than any of those transportation means that I just mentioned, you you feel it before it actually gets there. 
So these energies that are coming into the planet are not going to support no low vibrational fuck shit being taught to the masses. That's why if you look at that channel, Tipster and other news channels or entertainment or current events channels that expose social media if influencers and the fuck shit they get in trouble with that's why you see a whole bunch of them going to jail getting locked up and losing their platforms white and black and non-black alike they all they get in taken down because they've been doing the wrong thing this is aquarius season ain't aquarius the star card about fucking social media that's what it's about now i gotta um i'm gonna get off of here y'all but I'm going to be back. Um, also, I want to say my apologies. I told y'all I was going to have a lecture yesterday on the 23rd. Today's the 24th, my bad. Sunday was the 22nd. Monday was the 23rd. Today's the 24th. So today is August 24th, 2021. All right. It is 2.35 p.m. I, uh, my apologies. I said I was going to have a lecture yesterday. But I ended up just doing a talk on... Um, weed and other things the nowhere aspect of guardians of the galaxy and i did a little little bit of a sound bite about why i'm not talking about uh brother i'm gonna leave your pockets light but i intended to do a lecture yesterday i didn't get to it because my energy started to wane like it had gotten past a certain point in the day and after a certain point in the day i don't produce lectures usually i go into a different um mode of either study or meditation or something but um, depending on what I got to do, but I didn't get to that lecture yesterday and I didn't get to it today because I had repair guy here for the AC again and finally it's working properly. We'll see. And so I didn't want to be doing a lecture and then all the clanging around in the attic and all that because the air handler is over my desk where I do my lectures. So I will hopefully get to the lecture, the astrological lecture in the next two or three days okay it'll be this week i'm still trying to get my thoughts together because i want to make sure i'm trying to figure out what avenue what direction i want to approach that topic from because i got a lot of information uh you know collected in notes and stuff but um it'll be in the next couple of days and um i have more content after that coming as well that i've been putting off so I'll probably go back to my older notes, some of the episodes that I wrote down months ago that I needed to do uh, or topics I needed to cover. I'll probably go back to those and go ahead and start diving in and churning some of that out. But the exciting thing is um, I got my books ready for fall. <laughs> I got um, a bunch of books piled up already that I'm going through. And then I got some rare books that I ordered and uh, they'll be shipping in between today well, between the next couple of days and the first week in September so I'm excited for these I found some really cool deals on some books and um that's something I've been doing for years I'm a book collector and a collector of other things as well but uh I found some cool books historical and um some nice nice stuff to go through so again that will also be inspiring additional content as I go through these texts and um get various downloads activations etc when i read different texts i do get activated okay um or what i i won't say activated i guess you could call it an activation when i read certain texts i get downloads and i get like i'm able to channel through the text that's another reason why i don't have the comments open y'all and I, I I I would love to do more live streams when I can, but I just I've been protecting my energy, you know. So because when people come in the live and the energy's wrong, I can feel that shit. So it's easier for me to do uploads to preserve my energy and protect my field. And but I am able to channel through text and remote view. So, for example, let's say I read a rare, oh, I just knocked over one of my little, one of my little glass jars. Well, I didn't knock it over, I just bumped it. Let's say I read an old text, the old um, book of the Bible, a lost book, as they would call it, a lost book or an apocryphal text. I can read it and, um, I can read it and channel information that's not written there. 
I can read it in channel information that's not written there and sometimes I end up remote viewing and seeing stuff that's not there meaning so I'm reading the text like ABC one two three A B you know right to left as we read in English and as I'm reading I start getting downloads and I'm able to channel and it's like a, a portal can open up where I get additional information it doesn't just have to be a religious text or a mythological text it could be any text and sometimes I'm able to sometimes if I read a text if it's an older text it may say uh, John met Sally and they walked down the road together I will see John met Sally they walked down the road together and this is what happened yada 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 and it'll add to the story even though it's not written there in actual print form so that's the channel message that's the downloads that I'm getting so that's why when I'm studying I'm not doing content at the same time so I'll, I'll I have select times when I'm just in books and I'm not I'm not attached to like I'm offline because I, I have to pay attention to what it's saying and what I'm getting and I take notes and all that but um I have my I already got my prep work done for my fall reading and studies and um it's thousands of pages thousands and thousands of pages okay so when I'm not doing content I I I have a lot that I keep up with and I also want to say this shout out to my booski over there Eric at divine conversation shout out to booski because that morning coffee on boundaries that's exactly where it's at and that was a channel message and a reading he did and that is also tied to what I said about comments, but it was also a channeling that was actually tied to private downloads that I got yesterday from my gods and from the higher powers. So he picked it up. He picked up the energy. Definitely check out, like, share, and subscribe to Eric's channel, Divine Conversations. I don't know Eric, but I just love his content. And I have been subbed to him since I found his channel like two years ago when he first started his channel got recommended and I have been a fan since then now I'm not on anybody's patreon because I really don't have time to keep up with all the platforms if I can't catch you on YouTube doing your readings it's unlikely that I'm gonna catch you because I don't have time to be on Instagram Facebook patreon all the Vimeo I don't have time to go to all these different places like I used to because I have so much I have to keep up with and so um if I can't catch you on YouTube or naturally I'm keeping up with my own sector you know or my own business partners not partners but like colleagues so I'm keeping up with tarot spirituality and other sectors because that's I, I am operating on YouTube so I'm paying attention mostly to this app but I'm not on Patreon on anybody's Patreon because I don't have time to go to go to those platforms and it would be a waste of money. Really, uh, it's not a waste to support somebody, but, you know, that um, I like, but it would be a waste of money for me because I'm not able to watch it. I don't even use my Netflix like I should. I don't even use my Netflix like I should. So I, I really don't have time to watch Patreon like that. If it's not on YouTube. I can't even keep up with everything that comes across my feed on YouTube. So I definitely wouldn't be able to add on another platform. So that's why I don't use it. But definitely check him out. And, um, hmm. Oh, I wanted to say, um, those of you, <laughs> no disrespect, um, you know, not to make anybody feel funny or, or weird. Those of you who like to astral project here into my house or into my room, um, I can see you sometimes I just want you I just want you to know that the, you know you may think that um and, and this is not meant like I said this is not meant to make anybody feel awkward I'm just telling you all right because people under you know I don't tell everything that you know I, I'm aware of but I tell enough and um I just want you to know that I can see you sometimes with my naked eyes yesterday someone asked to projected here and I could feel their energy and I saw their shadow. I didn't have my glasses on and I didn't have my contacts in and I could still see their shadow move across my wall. 
it was kind of like the shadow out of uh what was that dracula with bella lugosi yeah it was kind of like the shadow of bella lugosi it was very faint and it was daytime still and there was sunlight outside and i could still see the outline of this person's astral form moving through my room and i could feel my my auric feel my body was reacting to their energy and i asked my pinch i was like hey i see you at first i didn't say it i just watched and i said hey i see you later like after a few minutes i said hey i see you i said oh you in here huh and um i said because i can feel you and i can see you like i can't see your full f i couldn't see his full form i could just see the outline of like like the vampire shadow that's all i i could just call it the vampire shadow he's not a vampire i'm just saying i'm calling it that because that's what it will resemble but it was daytime i could still see it and um this is why i told you all that i was getting upgrades with my vision and other things because i didn't have on any uh corrective lenses and i could still see the outline of his astral form move across in front of my wall and so um then you know me being uh me being me i asked my pendulum is is xyz here and they said yeah and i'm like i know you here because i just saw your shadow move and um i feel your my body is reacting to your energy there's a special sensation i get when certain people come around and so it's no mistaking you know i just want you to know that so you know some of you guys are sneaky some of you some of you guys and ladies are very very sneaky just like i've told you all these experiences before some of them you know they're real i'm, I'm not lying to you about it so don't think that you can ask to project here that i won't necessarily know Sometimes I'm busy and I'm not paying attention and I just know somebody's here and I'm not going to acknowledge them. It's special people I'm going to acknowledge, special people I will acknowledge, special ones. But and certain enemies I will acknowledge too. If they come in here with that fuck shit, uh, you know, you want to tie my pendulum chain up in a knot, you, you, you want to do that bullshit. Uh, I'm going to acknowledge that I, I know you in here. You better act right or you get the fuck out. <laughs> and it ain't no, ain't, I ain't talking to people that come in astral form no different than I would talk to a spirit that's being tricky. Okay. I talk to demons the same way. I talk to spirits the same way. Act right or get out. Period. Period, poo. Period. And. <laughs> And, um, you know, even my enemies that was coming around, my enemies, my enemies, all y'all niggas, my enemies, even when that was coming around, I still told them, don't bring no bugs, no body odor, no bullshit. I don't want to smell you. I want to see no goddamn bugs. Get out. If you got to bring that shit with you, get out. Don't bring no goddamn ants, no roaches, no, you know, it's certain people I do let do that, though. It's certain people that, you know, they, they. They special people. I let them do what they want to do. I don't, I don't be mad at them. You know, it's certain people that come around in the form of flies. You know, I know that's your motherfucking familiar spirit, bitch. You know, I know that's your, your monitoring spirit. I know that's you. That's your spy. I ain't got no problem with your spy, but your spy better stay out of my food. And your spy better not be buzzing around my head at night when I get ready to go to sleep. Let me study. Let me do what I need to do. If you want to come and sit on a nightstand in the form of a gnat, then you do that. Don't, don't piss me off. That was, that was all, that's all I got to say. When I go to the kitchen, there's somebody that comes around and other people have done this. There's someone, when I go to the kitchen, the fly, this fly don't be nowhere else in the house except for in that kitchen. And I know who that is. I just want to say, mother, elder, you're welcome. You're welcome here, okay? You're welcome. Because I noticed you over for the past week. You've been coming around in the kitchen. I don't see you nowhere else in the house except for in the kitchen. And I know that's you. I just want to say, mother, you're welcome. I appreciate you coming and checking on me and looking in on me. I ain't got nothing to hide. I ain't got nothing to hide. The rest of y'all special people, soul tribe. You know, seeing ancestors and other people that I that I fucks with the long way, even if you so called new, 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 you know, I ain't got no problem with you coming around. I ain't got no problem. This is this is life for me. <laughs> this is life for me. Just glad to be aware, baby. I'm just I'm glad to be aware and be able to pick up on these things. 
Mm. Also, I want to give a shout out to my sister. I didn't want to tell her. I didn't want to tell her business. I didn't want to tell y'all that she's in Egypt. But yeah, my sis Kenyatta is in Egypt, bitch. Go, go tune in to her two for twenty live reading. You know, give her some coins. Give her some coins. Make her purse real heavy. You know what I'm saying? Hit the cash app. Hit the cash app, bitch. Come up with some good questions so she can channel for y'all. She's from Kimmy. You know what I'm saying? She she go way back. King Solomon, Pharaoh Solomon, and all of them. Go way back. Um, take it on bike. You know what I'm saying? Uh, go 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 tune in to her. If she go live later. Uh, if not, y'all will see her when she get back home. Mwah, to my sis. And her traveling group. Mini Safe Travels. And hope y'all finish enjoying y'all trip. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Uh, like I said, lecture be up in the next couple of days. I just make sure I ain't, ain't nothing else gonna come up. Cause if my energy starts to wane, then I'm unlikely to lecture. Because I process so much information, I get burned out. Um, and what I mean by burned out is because my brain is so active and I process and channel a lot of information, I do have to take a power nap. I do have to meditate, close my eyes. And or sometimes I have to just go to sleep for the evening um, so that my brain can detox. I mean, that's what the doctors have told us, that when you go to sleep, your brain detoxes because it's been active all day. So it gives your body a chance to not only regenerate and heal itself, but it gives your brain the opportunity to shut down like a computer. When a computer has been running for a while, it gets hot, okay, because of the processor and all of that. And so your brain is very similar, so you need to make sure you're getting enough rest, especially those of you that channel a lot. All right, make sure you get enough rest. Make sure if you have an exercise regimen, do your exercise. Now, if you're not into exercise like that or weightlifting, do you some stretching. I know for me, as I've told y'all before, stretching, dynamic stretching, um, you don't have to be fully into yoga or Pilates or anything, but stretching for me helps me channel better. Like it helps me ground my energy. It helps my body contain the energies that I want to keep. And it helps me to integrate the energies that I need to process. So an example of that is I told y'all before some months ago that I was getting pain in my left arm because I was pulling energy from another realm, from other realms as above so below left arm up right arm down okay whichever way it is and so but my left arm was hurting me for months over the course of october november december because of the channeling and it was because the energy that i was pulling in from these other realms was getting stuck in my left arm so i had to start stretching and as soon as i started stretching it wasn't about me not using my arm i had to start stretching and purposefully grounding in a special way to get that energy unstuck it's getting trapped in my left arm and i also had some energy get trapped in my left heel my left leg and it was all that stuff coming all that energy coming in on the left side and i shared with y'all a uh reading that miss remy healings had done talk that talked about you're pulling energy it was a scorpio reading because that's my sign it said you're pulling energy from all these different realms and she actually put her arms up in her reading just like i had described to you the very day before she dropped the reading the day after and i don't think she watches me but it wasn't no fucking coincidence and so if you want to listen to that video that i did uh talking about that well actually it was a screen recording so if you want to watch that i'll put it in the box it's called dragon ball z shit because that's really what it is. Oh, yeah. And I have some really cool, interesting. I think they're cool. You know, part of me for being a spiritual nerd, a spiritual fucking geek, a weirdo. Uh, and, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> an occultic cook. <laughs> a cook, not in a good way. A kook. <laughs> an occultic cook. Please excuse me um, for being that kind of eccentric person. Okay. But I got some really cool shit coming for y'all. Something that I ain't never seen before. And I'm excited. So once I get all my little ducks in a row, you know, a bitch is waiting on shipments and shit. Waiting on eBay and Amazon to bring my shit. Once I get it all together, I'll be back. I'll be back with some more readings. I'll be back. I'm trying. I'm, I'm inventing some shit for y'all. Y'all know I stay inventing shit. And then I'm going to bring it on back. Bring it on bike with some more Cosmic Influences readings too. Because I got some special stuff to tap into in regards to that. Okay, so... 
the line, the signs that I didn't get a chance to do last time in the cosmic influences of readings because of all the spiritual assaults that were being done. <laughs> I will go and start with those signs when I start that um, segment up again soon. But before I start that cosmic influences segment up, I want to tap in with some other things and um, I'll talk to y'all later. Take care.